Wait, what's next? Next, uh, going, we're going to do calipers. All right, a couple of things. Before we take the calipers um, off, if they stock on, or like, let's say for example, if you only change in the pads, make sure you have uh, plenty uh, space in the reservoir, so open up and drain a bit of fluid or whatever you have to do to push the pistons back. But if you decide to take the calipers off, um, the force you want to do, push the pistons out hydraulically, because if they are stuck, there's no way you're going to get them all out by hand. So normally what I do, um, we just disassemble, uh, uh, take the pads off, uh, take the pads out first. Take the pin out first. See how it comes out. <laughs> Is it, yeah. yeah, big difference when you big difference. service them. So now you can. Take this slide in a minute. So what, what I would do, we we'll just put um, one piston here, or uh, one uh, one pad, and start to pump the brakes out. So what happens there? The pistons will be pulled out. Make sure you don't pull the pistons out all the way, or the, otherwise you you lose your uh, what you call it, how we how we fix some fluid there. She is just under half. Okay. Try the lower end. Just we're gonna top her up the fluid first before we do anything. Yeah, I'd rather get them out hydraulically without any hassle than having a hassle afterwards. And another thing as well, when you're walking with the brake flue, make sure you core it. Slow. Even. I'll just keep, yeah, just keep pumping. So what that does, that will stop them coming out fully, and they're almost out. And now we have to do exactly the same thing on the other side. Do you want me to keep that brake pad in there? Will, will they be pumped? Um, yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to replace the full hardware on this, uh, uh, back to a uh, little background. When we took them apart, there was a uh, door seals were missing completely and uh, some rubber uh, grommets were broken, so that's all has to be replaced. So what we do first, we're going to wash it, we'll just use the white spirit to wash off the grime and all that. And then I'm gonna clean it with a brake cleaner. So this is just just clean the whole like. Now I don't mind them. Um, so 
that's all garbage. In the bin. So you don't want that to swim. Unfortunately, there's no pains came with this kit. So we're going to place them later. At later stage, pains itself. So your hands are freezing. I'm gonna make sure to clean that part and sew it there because that's all corroded. Slow it down a little bit better. Just some cells. They could do a bit change because they're rusty. Oh. We're on the budget. Yeah, it's gas like somebody, whatever, who done a repair or whatever, for some reason they took it out, they had dust seals and never replaced them mm. at all. Which is like, I found a bit hard. But when the piston seal uh, sees, the reason it sees, because the um, dust seals. Because they normally uh, get like corroded underneath in behind them and that's the way everything goes okay put a bit of grease on them so make uh, things slip in a little bit better And when you're pushing them in, make sure, don't push it too hard. If it doesn't go in, take it out and do it again. Because what happens is they get pinched in against the aluminium. And then it's just like a bite over. And that way, it's nuked. Happy days. Goes in by hand. Yeah. And make sure it's seated all the way in. So that means everything is good. If it doesn't sit all the way in, like it comes out like a like a little bit, that means you pinched it and you 
cut the bit off it and it's in behind the piston. So that's one. Nice and easy, make sure it's straight. Go past the dose seal first. A little bit in, a little bit out. That's it. Done. And she's in. Right. So put a little bit of lube, not much, just uh, for them to slide in and out. And if you do that once a year, you know, you never have a problem. Make sure that boot is up as well. So, I'm just going to lubricate a little bit uh, the edge of stop squealing. Where does it squeal? Uh, vibration, I think. Metal against the metal. Okay, now this pin, right? I'm not going to lubricate either much, so I'll just lubricate here, just the end of it, kind of inside, and uh, top here. But the middle part, I leave it dry, so it doesn't collect any dirt or dust.
so. Full per pound. So twenty twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty seven, twenty eight. So now, now we're gonna bleed them. Okay folks, conclusion on this job. It's freezing. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, uh, all this can be done at home by yourself. No tools, special tools required. Um, the, my opinion, calipers should be serviced at least once a year. Or if you're using all year round, it should be a twice a year. Completely like uh, taking the pistons out, cleaned out, the whole lot. And put it back together it doesn't take much and that way if you do it like once a year it's all becoming up part much easier nothing be seized yeah and uh, as you can see like it's all simple enough so that applies not just to Suzuki that's any bike now some of the bikes will be a bit more uh, complicated to bleed like if you have like a ABS like a BMW 1150 they have like an integrated uh, servo brakes which is like a bit pain hole like to to bleed but they still can be done by yourself like if you read the manual properly and have like certain tools but otherwise yeah it's all simple enough just follow the um, manual and you'll be done anyway thanks for watching have a good one